What's going on YouTube? Landon Huffin here back with another race day vlog. We're out here at Hickory Motor Speedway. We've got both of our race cars out here today to pull double duty. We've got 50 laps in the limited car, our Bumgarner Propane number 75, and 75 laps in our High Rock Vodka number 75. So it's going to be a great day. I'm going to take you guys with us. This is the last week before the playoffs start here at Hickory Motor Speedway. So regular season finale, looking to bring home two trophies. So you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for being here. Let's have a good day. Those of you that seen in our last video, uh, if you guessed Oldsmobile, you were right. So we got the High Rock Vodka Oldsmobile out here today. Look what the damn cat drug in. Drug out of the house. Everybody's been asking about you. They thought you died, fell off the face of the earth, no, retired. Still here. The good thing. Good. Yes, sir. What do our socks say today? Ringmaster of the shit show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I like it. finished both practices uh, we were second in final practice in the limited car and we were second in practice in the late model as well we actually bought a set of practice tires and mocked up uh, shout out to my crew members because they all pulled money together and bought us a damn uh, set of practice tires so that's pretty cool which we haven't had all year so I think we got a pretty good car for uh, both races late late model there's only 10 cars and then in the limited uh, there's 14 or 15, but I'm not sure we have the greatest tires and we have a two barrel on this week because there was something wrong with our four barrel uh, last week. So we'll see what happens. We're getting ready to roll through tech here and then we got qualifying. pole induce the old high rock vodka oldsmobile so we made good progress i was happy with that we ran a 97 and Cade, uh, which is usually the 23s 44 this week he ran a 94 so that's the closest we've been to him i feel like i got a really good car uh, the changes that we made were positive so we'll see it's a 75 lap race so it's a little longer than normal so hopefully it stays under me uh, we were third in the limited car I don't know, uh, second was a 60 or 56. I think we ran a 60, but then the freaking pole's like a 42 and it's the 24 car. He's won five limited races in a row. And I don't think my tires are very good as far as the tire draw for the limited. So that's gonna hurt us in that car, but I think we got two good shots at at, at least chasing a trophy uh, in either race. So I'm excited, just happy that, you know, everything we made change-wise today was good on the late model and we're getting closer. And so uh, we'll see what happens here. Gut man, are you signing an autograph? Is that not hard to believe? <laughs> How about that? Rich. Put gut on there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, How about that? I really appreciate it. If somebody ain't been here in two weeks, you complain like hell. What, what else is new? Well, just because. Well, I'm here every damn week. I have more to bitch about then. <laughs> <laughs> He's on your phone for the first half of the day back here. Business, what did RJ? Jack business. What, what kind of business? <laughs> air tank. <laughs> that probably got that damn air. In. All right, 50 laps. Marshall Sutton just won a street stock race. He's been racing here for literally, I swear to God, 35 years, and he just won. So he's got to be like the longest standing winner at Hickory Speed Push. I'm about to get in, we're gonna race.
play by Scott Herbert waves the green flag. We're racing live here on Slow Sports here at Hickory. Bryson Ruff with a great start to this race, trying to bring Landon Huffman through the pack on Crazy Train Chase James, trying to hold it on the outside. He's going to give way and try to bring his Mustang down to the bottom side as they complete lap number one. Yeah, what a restart for the 24 car, and then you got Landon Huffman able to capitalize on uh, the 47 of Chase James being pushed to the outside. So the 75 able to capitalize, the 24 continues. He's got about three car lengths on Landon Huffman. As you're watching on slow sports, two by two from about sixth place on back, that's Bub Haney working on the inside of Kevin Deal. Bub now able to get past Kevin Deal, now the number 30 of Morton McGregor. The Seattle, Washington, David, trying to roll down the bottom. Definitely the bottom has shown to be the best. other through three and four. Landon Huffman looking to hold off Tyler Matthews in the third spot on that outside line. Not able to work, but Kate Brown still hasn't gained the lead on the outside. Landon Huffman battles back on the outside. Both drivers, former winners this season already here at Hickory Motor Speedway. Actually, this whole field full of winners all the way back to about sixth position. All of those guys have won so far here at Hickory Motor Speedway. Tyler Matthews in the catbird seat there you can see in P3. Right behind these two drivers as they roll down the turns three and four. Now Landon Huffman trying to look on the inside. Well, you can see that he waited, put the bumper on him right on the exit of turn number four, tried to get around him just a little bit. Kate Brown's just trying to pull away. You can see, though, you can physically see how close these race cars are in the time and how fast they are because these guys are nose to tail from first through first. And that, that to me, Kelly, that's unbelievable. 75 laps is going to be the scheduled distance. It's a little longer than a twin 40 race would be here, Hickory. Tire conservation definitely probably going to come into the picture in the last 15 to 20 laps for sure. Now around this old abrasive racetrack as lap number five goes on the board. Back down in the turn one and two again they go. Now single file through the field. Five didn't want to go all that down, and he gave him a run for the money. That's great help for the 15 cars. He slides up in front of Kate Brown. Kate Brown, they're going to touch a little bit off of two. 15 cars going to get loose. Here comes a 44 down to the bottom. Nine laps to go. Both cars side by side, washing up the racetrack down the front straightaway. Kate Brown to not be denied. Oh gosh, it looks like Rice Apple got into the back side of the 15. Caution comes out. What a heartbreaker there. Kane Brown, Landon Huffman in the Jeff Kane restart zone. Green flag is out of Hickory. Can Landon Huffman hold on the outside? He's able to so far, trying to drive around Brown. Brown has to let up off the gas just a little bit. Landon Huffman to the lead. Man, he got, he got quite the jump on that restart. 
Got a heck of a run off the of turn number two, and you just saw maybe he did save him some tire. He's the leader at Hickory over Kate Brown. Something I never thought I'd say. Old Mobile Cutlass to the point here. Hickory Motor Speedway is landing up and leads with just eight laps to go. Seven laps now this time by 68 on the board. Yeah, definitely something we're about 10, 20 years behind on being able to call that uh, from a, you would think from a uh, commentator standpoint. Landon Huffman to swing it around turns three and four. Just five laps to go to settle here tonight. Laps winding down here. Landon Huffman, I have to agree with you there, gamekeeper. I think he must have been saving. But being back there in P3 riding around, that Matthews and Kane Brown finds out because he's able to pull the whole way through the middle of Kane Brown at the end of restart absolutely and, and that's all in your tires i mean you we saw a, a, how close your qualifying times were landon Huffman was just a few tenths shot of the pole and you know you look at a race like this uh if it stays green i don't think he's able to gain the lead but thanks to that yellow that came out uh with three laps to go landon Huffman's able to have a comfortable lead the 97 car as well is looking for second place over the 44 car so you can definitely tell a lot of tire has been used up by that 44 car just two laps to go around this fan point three six three mile paved oval here in the Catawba Valley area of North Carolina. As Landon Huffman trying to bring his Oldsmobile Cutlass around for the win. White flag is out. One more time around. Kate Brown in second. Michael Bumgarner pressing to get P2 away from that young man as they come off of turn number two. That is definitely the fight on the racetrack. As Landon Huffman comes through three and four for the final time in the High Rock Oldsmobile. Will be your winner tonight in the 75 lap main event here at Hickory Motor Speedway. Kane Brown will finish in a heartbreaking second place. Well, I just realized that I didn't do an outro at the track for this video, but uh, obviously we ended up winning the late mile stock race. I uh, kind of worked in our favor there at the end and uh, we saved enough tire to be able to take the lead on that final restart and put our High Rock Vodka Oldsmobile in victory lane. So very, very uh, fulfilling for us given the last several weeks and we finally got that uh, bad luck monkey off our back and put, put our race car in victory lane. So very thankful for the opportunity. Thank you guys for watching this video. We drank a lot of beers at Pockets and Brews Saturday night. It was a good time, uh, but hopefully we continue to move in this direction. That's the second time on the racetrack this year for Deuce and a, uh, a victory. So that's a fifth and a victory. And then uh, obviously in the first twin, we had mechanical problems uh, with Deuce first time out. But very, very happy with our progress here at Huffman Racing. Thank you guys for all the support. I got something on my mouth. Thank you guys for all the support on this channel, man. We're on our way to 25K. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you smash that sub button and help us continue on this path. So thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.